So I went to the USA recently and visited McDonald's, tested out their uh, double cheeseburger or triple cheeseburger compared to ours and it wasn't, wasn't as good. But while I was there, I picked up all of these um, sauces that I've never had before. So you've got spicy buffalo, tangy barbecue, sweet and sour, hot mustard and ranch. So off to McDonald's I go to grab some chicken nuggets and probably some other stuff. Yum. Oh, let's do the land, sea, and air. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm back. So there's the American ones at the bottom. There was a catch-up that I could have picked up, but I didn't. Um, just to give you a scale, like, this, the English ones are slightly bigger than the American ones, except that puny little tomato ketchup. Why do such a small catch-up thing? So, so we've got a garlic mayo and a mega hot sauce. They're, they're the two new ones. Then we've got a sweet curry, a barbecue, which is interesting because there's a tangy barbecue to compare it with, a ketchup, which is the tiniest, stingiest pot of ketchup ever. And then we've got sweet and sour. And the Americans do sweet and sour as well, so we can do a comparison. And there's the 20 nuggets to go with it. And I've also got, oh, a fillet of fish. So that was my birthday treat. And a double cheeseburger with extra pickles. Because I have that in every single meal. Either a double or a triple. So, oh, look at that. That's not bad, is it? Da -da 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 -da. Let's get into loving it. I literally don't know where to start. I'm quite intimidated by all this. Because I'm starving. I haven't had breakfast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back in the bag. From, for afterwards. And just roll up the bag. In a vain hope that I might keep them warm. You know? So, and we'll get into these. <clears throat> oh, what should I do? English versus. I think I should start with something mild. Um, otherwise, my taste buds are going to be confused. So, we'll start off with the ranch. I've never had. I've had ranch dressing, obviously, but I've never had ranch from McDonald's. So, and this is genuine US McDonald's. I actually bought them back with me. And I sneaked them in my luggage. And they, they should have gone in my liquids, but they didn't. What a rule breaker. <laughs> right. Oh, it looks, looks nice and creamy. Smells delicious. Oh, here we go. Look at that. First one going in. So this is a USA Ranch dressing. Oh, Bang him. Absolutely bang him. Straight away, that's the best um, McNugget sauce I've ever had. That's a shocker how good that is. Mm. That's a 10. I, I want more now. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so I've got 20 nuggets and 10 sauces. Mmm. Oh. That's absolutely delicious. Well done. US McDonald's, you're onto a winner there. So we'll make a winner side and a loser side. So the winner side's there. And the loser side's going to be here. Wow. Well, Banging. Mmm. God, I'm blown away by that. Right, so this is the new limited edition UK garlic mayo. Which I've been told is pretty good. So, slightly bigger tub. Very generous portion. That really fill in the top there. So let's get in on one of these. Let's not be shy with it. It's nice. It hasn't got that smack in your face wow factor that the ranch had. Mm. 
There's nothing wrong with that. So I'll give that an eight out of ten. I'm just I'm just scoring them just because I can. So we've got five left. Let's go with a catch up. So but look how look how thin that is compared to that. And my one grumble about the they only give four sauces with twenty nuggets. So that's not enough. So I think that's a bit tight with a box of twenty. I do like um the ketchup that you get in McDonald's, but I've never had ketchup as a dip. I've just, you know, filled the little sauce sachet. So let's get a bit of McDonald's ketchup on there. Oh, oh, oh. it's exactly the same. Mmm. Yeah, I, th I think they must put much more sugar in than normal Heinz ketchup, which makes it taste really sweet. Duh, sugar does, but trying to work out why right? the thickness is really nice as well. Mm. <laughs> it's that good, it's making me go back for another one. So, but I've almost used the tub in two nuggets. Mm. So, yeah, that's a bit stingy. So, yeah, look, it's empty. Two nuggets. Taste is great, but stingy factor. Gonna give that one six. Right, this is where it gets exciting. I'm trying to keep my palate down and not do anything too spicy. But they've got hot mustard. Hot mustard. Ooh. Or we could do a comparison of sweet and sour versus sweet and sour. Let's do that. Right, so we've got the the US sweet and sour and the English sweet and sour. And the only difference is in size, there's quite a lot in there. Um, if I had a pair of pink reading glasses. Oh, how thankfully I do. I might be able to see what. Oh, well, that's helpful. So there's an ounce in, in the uh, US ones and there's 25 mils in these uh, English ones. Alexa, how many ounces are there in 25 milliliters? 25 milliliters is about 0 0.88 imperial fluid ounces. Okay, so there's like 12% more. Quick maths. Right, let's have a look. American sweet and sour, something I've never had. Mm. Looks quite different, I think. To ours. They, they have different laws on food colourings and stuff though, don't they? Right, and then the English sweet and sour. Let's have a look. Yeah, the English one is slightly paler. I know, they do have a slightly different consistency. I'm trying to do it without spinning them. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get straight in on the American one because I've never had it before. I do like the sweet and sour, but I'm not blown away by it. All right, so this is the American one. Hmm. It's very sweet. Not much sour to it. It's more like just sweet sauce. I feel like I'm just dipping it in sugar. A hint of sour. Okay. Not blown away by that. I shall go with the uh, English one. See if it's better. Oh. The English one beats the American one because it just has a nice zingy sourness to it. Yeah, so that goes on the winner. And this is our, our first loser. This is the American sweet and sour. Sorry, American friends. 
Right. Okay, so we've got tangy barbecue and we've got barbecue. I think they're going to be completely different. So let's, let's check out the tangy barbecue. So... Oh, that, it smells really good. Let's check this one out, actually. I mean, they've both got barbecue on the label. So, one's just red, one's just... They, they do smell very similar. But the American one smells more barbecue-y. But I would say, on the whole, Americans do barbecue better than us. So, that's the opinion of a seasoned traveller to the States. So let's get in with this. I'm expecting this to blow my socks off. It better do because Americans would complain if it was bad, surely. They know their barbecue sauce. Uh -huh. Oh, Yeah, that's up there. That's like a, a really nice store-bought barbecue sauce. Mmm. It's really good. I'm having a brain fart moment and I can't remember the barbecue sauce that I really get excited about, the American brand. When you see it in Sainsbury's, you're like, ooh! And then, and then I buy like two of them, just in case they don't come back. Right, the English barbecue. Oh wow, that's really interesting, really interesting. This one has a kick. Oh, that's banging. And it just says barbecue. And this one says tangy barbecue. I'm going to have to go in again. Mmm, because that one's got a slight spice to it. It's like more tang than this. This is ting and that one's tang. It's the ting tang. Wow, okay. Shock decision. The tangy barbecue goes on the loser's side. The American one and the Brit one is banging. So, I want this repeated by an American. It would be a fun video to repeat. Right. I'm going to go in. Oh, that, that's so good. I'm going in with the hot mustard now. So, you know, why why can't, like, it's a big corporation. Why can't we all have the same sauces? I know that I wouldn't be able to do this video. I wonder what sauces they have in Japan then. Okay. Japan trip coming up, maybe. <laughs> Because I know them, the ones are completely different. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Mustard to look like mustard. So it's really orangey rather than yellowy. Looks uh <laughs> mm, smells good. Being sabotaged by um a sauce flap. Right, let's get in. The hot mustard. Oh, that's a banger. Hmm. Gosh, that's a really good mustard. I didn't expect it to be good because when you traditionally buy American mustard, it's really mild. That's not. That's exactly what it says on on the on the lid. Hot mustard, so it's really good. Getting an Amazon delivery in the middle of a YouTube video. Oh no! Okay, sorry, it's my postman Reg. Right. Okay. Spicy buffalo. Now, spicy buffalo and buffalo wings are some of my favorite things i really have to struggle to not order a buffalo chicken sandwich when i when i'm in the states i absolutely love buffalo wing sauce 
So, but I've never had this one once again. So let's see. Oh, look, it's got that proper like nuclear orange. Pardon me, the little nugget back there, nuclear orange color. This better be good. I've had, I've had buffalo wing sauce literally all across the southern states of America. Look at that. Oh, bang! Oh, yeah. Well done, McDonald's. America, that is. Mmm. Oh, oh. I mean, more have I got? Go have another one of this. Is, this is actually really spicy. For a McDonald's sauce. So it's got a really nice kick to it. So it's not going to be for everyone. It is a proper buffalo wing sauce. It's lush. So it's making my tongue tingle. Mmm. Oh. Absolutely love this. So far, that one, the buffalo and the ranch are my favourite. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Right. Let's go with the sweet curry. Oh, that's burnt my tongue, which is good because I'm a heat guy. So that has got some heat to it, which I'm going to prove a point in a minute, actually. Uh, so I'm going with sweet curry. If you've never had it, please try it. It's so good. So, but I've never done it in these situations before. If you like chips and curry sauce, this is the one for you. I can't believe I've almost got through like a box of chicken nuggets. <laughs> But it's all, it's all in the name of science and education. See, I like I like you know, the fact that you know I can I can I can bring that to the to the world to the planet via YouTube. Sweet curry. Hmm. There's some, I don't know what they've done with the flavours there. It doesn't remind me of um, of an a, a Asian curry. It reminds me of an English curry. Oh, I've forgotten to give numbers. The buffalo wing sauce was a bang 10, easy. The hot mustard sauce was a 9, so that was pretty good. This curry sauce... It's nice, and I normally do like it, but compared to the other ones, it's the other ones have had their have kicked butt. So that's that's not as nice as I remember it because I've just had my taste buds completely imploded, like by these American ones and everything else. Like so, but in fairness, there are yeah, I mean. One's beaten one, so there's. So these are. I should have thought about this, how I was going to do it, but it's pretty equal right now. So I'm going to kind of prove a point with this. This is a limited edition a mega hot sauce. All right. So what I'm going to do is just. Prove a point that that and it was interesting to have the um, just a standard um, buffalo wing sauce and that was actually spicy. So I'm going to put the entire container of mega hot sauce right onto a spoon. There you go. I might regret this. I don't think I will. So that, that's that. It's gone. It's on the spoon. There's my fat nugget.
Okay, so I would say that that mega hot sauce is going over there. It's kind of like a similar heat to the buffalo sauce, but the buffalo sauce is not saying mega hot buffalo sauce, is it? It's just saying buffalo sauce. So that goes on the loser's side. Just as a treat to myself, I'm going in with the ranch again, which I think is a banger, absolute banger. Ranch definitely pips mayonnaise. Mm. Oh, that's so delightful. Given the option, if I go back to the States again, I'm literally just going to come back with a backpack full of ranch and <coughs> buffalo sauce. So we have a clear winner. That tangy, that uh, the mega hot sauce. Uh, no, I'm going to give that like five. So, yeah, my nose is running a little bit, but I did just do the whole thing on one nugget. So I've got four nuggets left. And I'll just have one nugget, so. Mm. No, I'm not going to do that. It's weird. Feels like it should be illegal. Right, so over there we've got two on the loser side, we've got two American and two English. Interesting. And on the win side, I'm gonna discount that because it's not really a special sauce, is it? It's just ketchup. So on the winner's side, we've got three American. I'm free English. So, but on a scores perspective, the Americans' flavours are definitely on point, apart from the barbecue, which was a bit of a shock. Bit of a shock. Hmm. Going slightly cold now. So, yeah. So, I, would, I would say that the American sauce is better than the British sauce, definitely. It's like, they tried to introduce two new flavors. How boring is garlic mayo and a chili sauce that's not even really chili? It was definitely not mega chili anyway. It's more like, um, I don't even think that's anywhere near as hot as sriracha. Du -du 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 -du. Da, 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 sriracha. So Americans win, UK loses, but I feel like a winner because I've never eaten a whole box of chicken nuggets and I can't waste these sauces here. So that's the end of that, but I'll carry on if you want to see a mukbang or mm. yeah, because then it can be a land, sea and egg challenge because I've got the cheeseburger in there and the fillet of fish and we've got chicken i think i'm right with the way i've ranked these mm, the mustard is good i'm gonna try the sweet and sour again now that's the english one i don't know what to do got one left sweet and sour english good old english sweet and sour Mm. I'm going to have to go for a swim and swim all this off out in a bit. So I've done done. Amazing. Right. Now for the land, sea and air. Park. So... What a, what a, a multi, multi, multi choice video you got here. So, good old fillet of fish. You either love them or you hate them. I love them. Mm. I'm not doing a speed eating thing where I do it in three bites. Can't be bothered. I'm just going to enjoy it. So, yeah, I had a messy birthday last week. And I think I'm only just kind of recovering from it now. 
Um, I really do need to eat some proper food though. <laughs> Probably chose a bad day to do a McDonald's one. But there were quite a few days where I've missed meals and stuff like that. Oh, these are much better warmer. It's a little bit cold. But that's what you get for doing every sauce in existence from, well, between the UK and the US. Mm. When it's colder, it goes more substantial. It's not as easy to eat. If you were doing a speed eating challenge, I'd struggle with this because it, it feels like the fish is thicker. Mm. Yummy. I was tempted to ask for gherkins with it, but I should have actually. There are, I think there are gherkins in the sauce, but it's just not enough. Mm. I'm going to need a little nap after this, I think. This entire section has been one take as well. No edits or anything. Sorry for blowing my nose on camera. That was a mixture of doing the hot sauce all in one and the uh, buffalo sauce. And that was all it did. It made my nose run a little bit. There were no, no chilli sweats, no tears, no reaction. Just um, disappointment. You can't call something mega unless it's proper mega. And I don't even know what chilies they've used in it. It had, no, it had no real taste to it, you know? So I do know my chilies and I know the different tastes of some of them. So, get rid of that. I don't need that That's the fillet of fish from. And now for my good old familiar favourite, a double cheeseburger with extra bur gherkins. I always say birkins. <laughs> I love these things, they're so simple and all I do is just add the extra the gherkins for that nice mm. they don't look like much but I don't know, there's just something so familiar about them and just so yummy and they're, they're affordable as well so they're always on the saver menu mmm yum Ooh, no, yes, I wonder what it's like with lunch. No too hairy food here, guy. Oh, yeah, let's face it, lunch goes with everything. Mm. That's so good. I'm actually getting quite full now. It's probably because I haven't eaten much. In the last few days so apologies if the channel's been a bit light but i've been mainly living on um liquid <laughs> oh that's so good just using up the ketchup The thing is, I don't know, I'm so old school with this, apart from the extra gherkin, as soon as you put anything else with it, like even an extra bit of ketchup, my, my mind's telling me no, but my body, my body, but then I go, no, it's perfect in its imperfectness, it doesn't need anything else. Mmm. All you people at home that can't stand gherkins going, because <laughs> I have extra gherkins in my hand. But I worked out where that came from um, the other day, the extra gherkin thing. Because when we used to go to McDonald's as kids, 
And my mates hated gherkins, so they always take them out, and I'd be like, oh, I'll have them. And I'd put them in my burger, and that then created the habit of a lifetime. I can't believe I'm this old and still enjoying McDonald's. It's quite funny. If you notice my lack of Burger King videos, yeah. I don't know how the 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 thing the thing is with Burger King. They're all franchises, and they're all run differently. But it seems that every single Burger King you go to is massively different in quality and taste, and I just find it too much of a gamble. I've had some really really gross food in Burger King. But with McDonald's, at least you know what you're getting and it's consistent. So, hmm. Down to the last two bites. I'm going to love you and leave you. But thanks for watching. I hope you found this educational, inspirational, and uh, international. Hmm. <laughs> All unscripted, waffly bullshit. All in the name of science. Oh, I'm definitely going to need a lay down. I should have got a Diet Coke with it. That would have helped dissolve it down a little bit. Mmm. But the price was reassuringly low. Because the fillet fish was £1.39. Because I used my birthday offer on the app. Um, this was free because I used my points. And let's have a look how much the 20 nuggets, 5.99. I think nine nuggets were like 5 five forty nine. That's that's crazy, isn't it? They're really not helping people do weight control when they're, you know, there's only like a pound difference between six, nine and 20 nuggets, you know? Oh, banging. The last dab. <laughs> Well, I'm not damning in anything except for the bit of cheese that fell off. That sure was a filling meal. I think I've done about 1,700 calories just here. Yeah. Well, um, thanks for watching. If you don't subscribe, please do. And click all the other things like notifications, bell, likes, shares, and everything else just to help the channel because I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly but surly. <laughs> Sorry, that was Roy from, from Ted Lasso. Right. See you later. Catch you on the next one.